Get out the fucking door, you biscuit head looking. You know who it is. You just scared. Hey, what's happening? You good? You all right? What's up, boy? You good? Hey, so how you doing? Hey, you? Yeah. What you doing there, man? No, I, I came in with my lady Paige. Yeah, you live here? Yeah. Ch Charlie. Charlie's your Charlie's Charlie. brother? Charlie. Oh. Nice to meet you. I've run into you somewhere before. I don't know. I mean, it's a small world. You never know. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, so, yeah, no doubt. Well, no, that's all right. Stay and talk to your friend. My answer is not changing. He doesn't have to go. Charles just has a few friends over. If you want, Justin and I can go to the movies so the get-together is over. No big deal. I haven't seen him in two weeks. Well, that's not my fault. And those grown people in there will more than likely be doing things that he doesn't need to be around. No always have to make this a hassle. All right, guys, have a seat. Take a load off, make yourselves at home. So how have you been? Been good, beautiful. This is my boyfriend, Adrian. Ha-ha, <laughs> the famous Adrian. I heard a lot about you, my dude. <laughs> no, really? Yeah, I haven't heard anything about you. Right? Well, have a seat. Relax, relax. Look. I don't like the fact that you leave him here alone with Charlie when he's here to spend time with you. You have Justin two days out of the week and you choose to divide that with Charles and whoever else by leaving him here while you're out doing... Stuff that I can't do during the week. Like look for another fucking apartment so he can spend some undivided time with his father. All right, this situation is not just my creation. All right, you don't have a place. I understand, I get that. But I'm not playing keep away with him. If I were trying to be difficult, I would make it a point to make your life miserable. But I'm not. He needs to be around you. He's not paying attention in school. He's acting out. And I have things I could be doing while you come to the house and spend time with him. Just the two of you. Alone. OK. I'll be there in an hour. I have to get my keys, so you... I'd rather drive so you don't have to come back out. Come on. Uh, I can make that uh, mojito you like. Sounds good. How about you, bro? <laughs> I'm straight right now. You straight? Yeah, I'm good. You straight as in straight, or you straight as in you don't drink? I drink. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Okay, all right, how about a uh, peach cosmopolitan for you? <laughs> I'm all right. All right, let me go see if I can. You want Charlie? 
need to talk to Paige for a second. Okay, right. Um, the Peach Cosmopolitan is right on the shelf. The ladies love it, man. You fit right in with it. What the hell is your problem? What the hell is my problem? What the fuck are you doing kissing him like that? Oh my God. Are you kidding me? I mean, what is the big deal? That was nothing. Really? Well, I don't go around tongue kissing my female friends in front of you. <laughs> well, I do. Oh. <laughs> and if you don't like it, I don't care. Fuck you. All right? And don't worry about getting your shit. I'm gonna get it for you ASA. Fuck, fucking dumbass. <sighs> fucking idiot. She gave her notice at Bain Tang. You know, the, the laundry, the laundry person, that the, the woman who runs the laundry already hired another overnight person to replace her. You know, I, I thought that even though things were fucked up, that if we, if we just took some time, if we backed up just a little bit, that we, we could get back together. Now, didn't you say your, your pops told you that she wasn't the one for you? Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe you need to listen to him. You know, when I was getting married, my dad told me the same thing. He told me not to marry niece. But I did, and you he see all the shit that? that... That's exactly what he told me. And you see the shit that we're going through. You see the situation I'm in. I'm living on my fucking brother's sofa. Put him just into the same shit that my parents put me through. I don't know what kind of stress that my father was under for my mother, but they were divorced by the time I was six. You don't want to make a mistake. Only you know when it's right. I mean, I'm going to ask you a question. If you woke up and you won $130 million tomorrow, would you stay with her? Yeah, I would stay with her. You know, if I love her, that, that the money doesn't matter. That I could care less about that. Well, I mean, a relationship is like, like the birds in the cage. You know, once you, once you lock the door, once you lock, lock the cage, that's it. It's and I'm prison. Dog. No, I mean, I don't want it to sound final like that, but it well, it's not prison, but it's that's it, man. Once you make the commitment, that's it. You make the commitment. You want to make sure this is the right decision for you, because there's no going back. You know, you don't want to waste years for nothing. So where are you gonna go from here? 